Hold on, we're about to start this tag team match. It's a bonkers main event. Roman and Solo versus Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar. Bell rings. I don't even know if the bell actually rang or not. We just did the dramatic introductions. Brock just hit Cody Rhodes with an F5 out of nowhere. Oh no, now he's going for another one. What did Cody Rhodes do to you, Brock? So this whole show has been mid, it's been boring, it's been bad, whatever you want to call it. But the only saving grace was we're going to get this tag team match. It was a crazy tag match, but so much for that. Oh god, Lesnar's not done. He already hit an F5 through the announce table, onto the steps, now he's got a chair. Oh no, here he comes again. Brock, he left, we thought we were done. Medical's attending to Cody Rhodes. Brock's back, or he's just standing there. Is Brock just gonna stand there and look menacing? Oh, he's flipping him off. Flip Cody the bird as the copyright pops up on the screen. That's Raw After Mania for ya. So, yeah, there you have it. That's the Raw after WrestleMania. Definitely a mid-show. Not a single debut. The only return we got was Matt Riddle, which was all right, I guess. But for that being the only return, no debuts, no Braun Breaker, no Randy Orton, no... Matt Cardona, no Jay White, I guess. Not saying I expected all of them, but just nothing except for Matt Riddle. All of that after they spent the entirety of this show hyping up this huge legendary tag team match without a doubt just a terrible Raw after Mania.